Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the system settings.exe appears to be crashing when you're accessing Windows settings. So this could definitely be a very frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start by opening up the Start menu, type in PowerShell. Best result should come back of Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. So I'm going to have a couple of PowerShell commands and then just a couple of normal command line commands. So you can use the PowerShell for all the commands if you want, but we're just going to run the first two, like just for the first option or first solution set of this tutorial. It's going to be two different PowerShell commands. So like I said, you could use the console for either or, but um, anyway, so the first one's going to start with get minus sign apex package. You're going to go copy that and then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that. And it will take a moment to run. Should say operation completed. And then you have a blinking cursor which will indicate that. And then you're going to copy the second command I will have in the description of the video. And then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window again. Right click on it. Select edit. And then select paste to paste it in. Give it a moment here. And hit enter. And then give it a moment. Once you're done with that, close out here. Now I want you to open up the SAR menu, type in CMD, best result, command prompt, right click on it, run as administrator, yes. And then I'm going to have two command prompt commands or command line commands. I mean, you could have used the PowerShell window again. I just kind of like to separate the two because they're two different things we just did. So anyway, the first one's going to be a system file checker utility. So just right click on it and copy it from the description of my video. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. This will take a few minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that one is done running here, guys, I'm going to have one more command we're going to have in the description of the video. It's a DISM command. So you just want to go ahead and copy that, just like you did the other previous three commands, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right-click on it, select Add It, and then select Paste to paste it in. Hit Enter your keyboard to run this. So, okay, so once that's done, close out of here, restart your computer. So, okay, so now that we're back in the Windows, hopefully when you're going through the settings again, you won't be experiencing those same issues you were before. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.